Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Cross Studios here, and I'm here with a very cool LEGO Ninjago Top 5 video. And today, I'm going to be discussing my Top 5 Best or Favorite Ninjago Villains. Now, I've chosen 5 just from over the years that I thought were my favorite, and I've always liked to watch from the show. So it's not really a super tough opinion. It's not saying they are the best. Um, this is just my opinion. So leave your opinion down below once you watch the video. So I hope you enjoy it. So let's get straight on to number 5. So at number 5 for this video, I have Master Chen, and I think Master Chen was a really cool villain. That was one of my favorite Ninjago ser series to come out, um, or seasons as people like to call it. I thought Ninjago in that season was just overall a lot more fun, um, and it was different that they went to some mysterious island and stuff like that. I mean, they did that before, but this one was different because they had to face other elemental fighters. And Master Chen orchestrated his plan pretty well. He didn't do it perfectly. Um, I didn't like the end of the season very much, but I think Chen as a villain is pretty cool. And, um, he also has the really cool sidekick Klaus as well. I mean, he chose his support staff pretty well. So I think Chen is a pretty cool villain overall. And I think he's pretty cool at battle and just overall being menacing. And he's kind of like a Joker type of character. So I think he's a pretty cool character. And that's why I have him at number five. So moving on to number four is Nauticon, and Nauticon is definitely one of my favorite villains of the series. Um, I really like Nauticon because he kind of reminds me of Thanos. He has a lot of power. He can vanish and just disappear places, but he's also very smart and has his own goals in mind. Um, he is not obviously as cool as Thanos, but he kind of reminds me of him, and obviously he's very good at mind games and stuff like that. He's a lot smarter than guys like Chen. Um, so that's why he reminds me of Thanos a bit. I just think overall as a villain, he's an excellent fighter. He just knows how to use his powers. I mean, he actually outwitted Zane. So overall, I think he's an amazing villain. So let's move on to number three. Moving on to number three, we have the Overlord. Now, I didn't really like the Overlord as much when I was younger, but I do definitely appreciate him now as just pure evil and um, his voice is just crazy. He kind of reminds me of the Emperor a little bit. Um, he's just kind of like an Emperor Overlord kind of guy. And he just knows how to get stuff done. Um, he does not mess around any time of the show. Um, most villains at least have kind of a sense of humor. But this guy is just serious, pure evil. Doesn't have any time for nonsense or anything like that. So that's what I really like about the Overlord. Um, and obviously the way he was defeated was awesome as well. Um, like he was defeated... Um, by Lloyd, but then he came back. So I like how he was able to come back and stuff. So I thought he's an interesting character. Moving on to number two, I have Lord Garmadon. And obviously, he's one of the main villains of Ninjago. I'd say he probably is the main villain. Obviously, he was the main villain season one and season two. Um, I mean, he worked with the snakes and stuff like that. And um, obviously, he's Lloyd's father. So he plays a very important role with the story. Um, I think, yeah, he has a little bit of a sense of humor throughout the series, which is kind of funny. Um, and obviously the tension between him and Lloyd was always very interesting to watch. Um, but overall, as a villain, obviously he's very arrogant and ignorant. Um, but I like seeing his battles with people. He obviously knew how to fight. And um, I like how he was just full rage mode all the time. So I thought that's why he should be at number two, because of his full rage abilities. Moving on to my all-time favorite Ninjaga villain that I've always loved, which is Pythor. And Pythor has always been maniacal, but also with that awesome British accent, it's always cool to have a British villain. At the same time, he was also classy, but knew how to get the rough work done. And just his evil plan to unleash the Devourer and how he actually realized his mistakes later and helped out the ninja, I think makes him a very interesting character. Um, just overall, he's one of my favorite characters. Like, he just... The overall actual character of him is just interesting um like we don't see anything like that i always thought it was cool he was like the last of his tribe but he actually did that because he ate the other snakes like he knows how to survive and i just think he's the most awesome bad villain that we have in ninjago that's just my opinion though so let's conclude this video all right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching so much. If you like the video, please subscribe. I make content like this all the time, all kinds of LEGO videos. We also have a Bricks for Autism program going on. If you would like to donate money for that, it's a GoFundMe page, and that will be in the description below. So that is going for autism awareness. Any money donated will go to the Autism Research Foundation. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be making more content soon. 
And like I said, you guys are the best builders out there. So keep on building and thanks for watching.